you done you done paid the piper all through the summer by doing uh that six hundred dollar cut for four hundred just so you can stay busy in the winter and then what ends up happening is they is they fire you in the winter they can't fire you ray shoot we got a contract they can't fire you you take their ass to court i, I mean I, I guess i guess i could uh but doesn't that seem like a hassle I don't have a lot of yearly contracts, and let me tell you why. You want to know why? Uh, I don't, I'll tell you why. Because the yearly contract is based on leveling the paying field for the whole year. So the customer's paying blah, blah dollars per year or per month, 12 months out of the year. So what, 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 what you do and what people do, if you're me or a landscaper, lawn maintenance guy, whatever, you you give them a break during the summer so we'll just say and this is these numbers don't mean that we'll say we'll say like, let's say you're doing 400 dollars a month and 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 you're and you're getting that money year round the thinking is okay if i wasn't charging 400 a month year round then i would be charging 600 a month just for the season okay what happened and has happened to me on i want to say at least 10 times at least uh, like I said I didn't just start yesterday what ends up happening eventually especially with the homeowners and stuff uh, man it's happened to me I got videos of where it's happened to me where what will happen is they'll let you that they'll, they'll, they'll come a time and maybe not, you know, oh, my customers ain't gonna do that to me and all that, but sometimes it's out of their control. Uh, by the mere fact that we're doing lawn maintenance, a lot of the, our customers, my customers anyway, are elderly. They are. Uh, so that is one thing that, you th that I think about. So back to the numbers. So. If I wasn't doing a yearly contract, I'd be charging them $600 a month during the summer. And then nothing in the winter, you know, from, uh, we'll say, uh, November to March. November, December, January, February. So four months there that we're not hardly doing any, 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 we're not mowing and, 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 uh, I don't do a lot of leaf cleanups because most of the yards I have are Bermuda grass and people don't put Bermuda grass where there's a lot of trees just throwing that out there I, I, I mean I could do more leaf cleanups I guess you know but back to the numbers so what ends up happening and it's happened to me is you get to September October when it comes time for the work to get a lot easier doesn't need it as bad you know but you don't you, you, you don't you don't pay the piper all through the summer by doing uh that six hundred dollar cut for 400 just so you can stay busy in the winter and then what ends up happening is they is they fire you in the winter they can't fire you ray shoot we got a contract they can't fire you you take their ass to court i, I mean I, I guess i guess i could uh but doesn't that seem like a hassle it does to me it just seems like a hassle a potential hassle you know and then if somebody dies and then the the kids or whoever don't honor their mom or dad's contract with me what am i supposed to do you think i, I i'm supposed to take the 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 folks to court when they just lost their dad or mom is that what i'm supposed to do and am, am i gonna win what is it gonna take for me to win how many how many days off am i gonna have to run to court how much money am i gonna have to pay for a lawyer how much time energy and effort am i going to devote toward those four months that i'm that i'm not going to get any money from them 
that's why I don't do it. Because I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to be uh, having to go to court over a couple thousand dollars or a couple hundred dollars, whatever you want to call it, you know. If they're paying me 400 a month all year round, that sounds great until they don't pay it. And then what do I do? If I don't, if, if I don't do yearly contracts, and I'm not saying I'm against them, I'm just saying that the reason I don't do them I guess I am saying I'm I'm against them, but I I I, I wouldn't be I'm not closed off to the concept. <clears throat> I would just have to be in a spot to where I know the business that I'm working for or the customer that I'm working for or whatever, and that's what I would you know uh, have to do. I'm not gonna uh, you know. Uh, and I'm not saying I won't never do a yearly contract, but it, it's going to have to be something that I, some, a, a company, a business, or something that I am, uh, I know, and I know that uh, they're you know going to pay, and and I know that they're not going out of business, and I know, you know to do contracts with homeowners. Sometimes with a business. Uh, they'll pay you just to, you know, j just because that's the path of least resistance. With a with a homeowner, sometimes they might not, they simply might not even have it. People always are saying, do contracts, do contracts. Well, I'm not a big believer in that. I want my money when I do the work, and then let me work with my money, and then I don't have to do contracts like that, where I'm the only one taking a risk. There's no re uh, now if they're paying up front, that's another ball game. But down here where I'm at, people just don't pay up front. <laughs> they don't. I mean, uh, some of the homeowners that know me and have known me a long time, they'll pay for the year up front, the season up front. Uh, and, and But none of the commercial or the bigger accounts pay up front. And, and it's not really something that I push for either. Uh, because if I got to worry about getting paid, I don't want you as a customer anyway. I like to do the work, invoice, get my money, work my money, do the work, invoice, get my money, work my money, blah, blah. That's what I like to do. So, if I can't do that, uh, then uh, it, 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 it's not the norm for me. So, that's why I don't have yearly contracts. Yes, it can be a good thing, especially if you're doing a lot of in-depth stuff, I guess, where, you know, you're doing, you're, you're, you're maintaining, you know, a few hundred flower beds and stuff like that, or uh, you're maintaining a few hundred flowers and, and all that on the big HOA stuff. I, I, I get that. I can see that. And they're just going to pay, pay you a flat rate every month. But... As soon as, if, if you see that if you see that their business is starting to go down, you know, <laughs> then you might, you know, me, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be starting getting worried about how I'm gonna get my money in the winter time when they are having a, a hard time paying me in the summer. So in the winter time, they just buck on you. They 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 well they they don't want you to come do the work. So they're not, you know, uh, they're not beating you. Uh, they're just not going to honor your work every two weeks or whatever uh, throughout the winter. Now, most of the time, you'll be okay. But the small percentage of time that you're not, it's a, it's a, it's a hit. It's a big hit. And it's not just a financial hit. It's a mental hit. Because you think about what, when, that, when, when you get into September and you think about all the, all the hot summer days you've been out there in their yard doing things for the really cheap cheap just so you can have 12 months. You've been out there and you've been working in their yard like dogs in the heat all summer and now all of a sudden, bam, they're going to let you go in October <laughs> as soon as everything starts getting a little bit easier. Hell to the no, man. Hey, come on, man. And it doesn't happen all the time, but just one time of that happening, two times of that happening, three times of that happening to me, that made me gun shy. 
golf. And I think about that, and I think about the fact that I was counting on that money all winter, and and I didn't plan anything, you know, to make up for that money if it did not come. And so then what happens is you're not getting that money and you're you're scratching and clawing trying to figure out what work you're gonna do to get that to get that money. And on top of all that, you lost the customer too. Though at that point you, you don't really give a damn. But you lost the customer and uh, because you obviously you can't uh, go back to the customer in the spring and and re-up <laughs> who would want to the customer that beat you or told you not to come they're not going to want you to uh because well there's probably been some attitude going on since all that happened that's <laughs> for me there would be we would have issues you know all winter long if they if they if they did that crap so obviously you're not going to be their their customer the next year so now you don't lost the customer too you done lost the customer. You got a bad taste in your mouth. You ain't, you're losing winter work when you really need it. Come on, man. I just don't see the, I don't know, the allure. I see the allure of it. And if it were, you know, if somebody, if it were enforceable. Now, if you're doing big commercial stuff and it's $25,000, $30,000 a month, well, that's a whole nother ball game. Because you, that money, that kind of money is, uh, well, you can hire a lawyer and stuff to chase that kind of money. But for me, $1,500, $2,000, you know, what are you going to do, man? You know, I, I, I mean, if I take them to, I mean, no matter what, you're not going to have that customer again. You're probably not going to want them. No. <clears throat> so even though you was getting okay money during the summer, now you're not going to get any money from that customer the next summer. And you and nine times out of ten, you didn't get the winter work money either because, well, you have to take them to court. And you have to pay money for all that. Well, man, the, the judge will make them pay your lawyer. But I, do you know how much time, energy, and effort that requires? I mean, do you have any idea? i got to put money on Front Street to hire a lawyer to go after money that is mine really already mine i've already worked for that money by the mere fact that i went through the winter i mean went through the summer and freaking worked my ass off in the heat and for chump change and now when i get to the damn good money it, it, oh well, we don't need you no more dog sorry hell no man but anyway today well, I'm going to end this video right here and try to post this little piece of why I don't do contracts because I feel like that's uh, uh, something that a lot of people come into the comments and ask me a lot of time. Doing a contract is not hardly doing me a favor. I mean, I'm not saying I won't do it, but I have to I have to really feel a certain type of way. And it can't be an exorbitant amount of money either. Because the more money somebody promises you tomorrow based on work you do today, the more likely you're not going to get that money promised to you tomorrow. Meaning, I'm not going to ever get October, November, December, and January's bread because I'm, we're not doing any work. Or we're just going and blowing off stuff, things like that. So, anyway, 